I'm going to show you how you can organize your Power BI measures into tables and folders, and then what the impact is if you connect to that data set using Excel. Let's go. I'm starting off with this Power BI report that I've pulled together. And the thing I'm going to focus on is really the measures okay, within here. Let me expand these out. So I've already built a couple of measures. And if I minimize this. So here is a measure built in to my table. It's called, I've named it in table population. And I've already created a my measures table. Now to do that, you simply go to the enter data button on your tab and you call it my measures and you click load. Okay, that's all I did. That creates this measures table and then I've created my measures in there. Now, one nice thing is once you've got a few measures in here, then delete column one. Don't delete this until you've added at least one measure. So I'm going to delete column one. And nothing really seems to happen on this screen until, until you either reopen this file or shortcut it by clicking on this fields icon and clicking on it again and there's your measures table at the top. Beautifully organized. Okay, you can also group these together into folders, but you can't do it in this screen currently. So you have to go to the model view over on the left. And then you open this up and control click on the ones you want to group together into a folder. Or you could do one at a time and then drag them later on. So let's call this uh, city measures. And that's it, this display folder, you type in what you want to call it, and there we go, city measures. And we'll put these two into population measures. You can even do um, subfolders, so maybe my subfolder here is going to be slash um, sub. That then builds a subfolder. Okay, and if you don't want it anymore, you can just backspace off it. Awesome. You can even put a measure in two different folders. So maybe my population per square meter, I also want it. So semicolon in my city measures. You've got to spell it correctly. So now population per square meter is in both folders. A little bit confusing, I think. I tend to leave them in their own folders, but it's the semicolon that's the trick there. It's not a duplicate of the measure. If you make a change to either one, it changes both. So it's not a copy of the measure, it's just showing up in both folders. Okay, let's have a look to see what this looks like when we go back to our report view. And here we go. City measures, and you just click on these. Now, I think these little icons are a little bit misleading. So if I click on them, I don't know, I just think that the, the down arrow makes me feel that it's already expanded. I'll show you what I mean. If I go into this in table one, and let me create one new measure in here. So I'm just going to go new measure. So let's say I want to put these two into a table. I go over here. I click on them both. I call this number one underscore measures so that it pops to the top of the list. So there we go. I've got a nice little measures folder. It looks to me with that icon, like this list is open already. And I don't realize I can click on that to actually open it. This is actually different in Excel. I'll show you shortly. So here we go. We've got all our measures set up. Beautiful, right? I'm going to publish this. So here we go. So here's my report. 
sitting in my workspace. Now what I'm going to do next is actually connect this to Excel or really the other way around, connect Excel to this. And you can do that in one of two ways. I'll show you this way first. We go to the export and we say analyze in Excel. This then says creating the Excel file and down the bottom of your screen in the bottom left hand corner you can see that your Excel file is downloaded. I'll open that up. And within a few seconds, over on the right hand side, we'll see all our measures are here. And the thing I like about this is the way the arrows work. So firstly, notice that the measures from city data are actually split out from the table now, whereas in Power BI they were within the table. But also the arrow points this way and you can expand it out and it looks it's more intuitive it's what i'm used to anyway maybe that's it so we could do some analysis we could say country and i want to see from the city data the population so you have to use measures for this to work Analyze in Excel, you can't put figures in this values box unless they're measures, so you must write measures. But check this out. If I double click on, say, this Australian number now, it will drill through and give me some data, which is great. However, if rather than using this one that was in the city table, the city data table, I use from my measures, okay, so population, from the disconnected my measures table and then I try and double click it says it cannot work because it does not have any columns so that's a downside of using separate my measures tables there's one other way of connecting as well if you've got the right version the latest one of the latest versions of Excel. This isn't on the semi-annual channel yet. Uh, I think it's on the monthly channel or the current channel as it's called. Let me show you. So this is a different version of Excel. This is the insider channel, but I'm pretty sure it's on the monthly as well. Under the get data button here, you now have from Power BI dataset. Okay. Note you must be logged in to Excel up in the top right hand corner here using the same email address that your Power BI service is in. So I go from Power BI dataset. Then all your data sets are listed. Your certified ones will be at the top. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a filter yet for workspace. So if I search for manage, managing your measures, loaded two minutes ago in my one demo workspace. Okay, if I click on that, it'll now hook up directly to that data set. And there we go. We have our report the same way. Our measures are broken out into city data from the table and our separate measures table here. So hope you find that useful. Please subscribe to keep up to date with my new videos as I release them. Give this video a like and please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Okay, we'll catch you later.